everybody. We are getting ready to head out on our not back to school adventure. So for the past couple of years, we've been celebrating not back to school the week that our district schools go back. So we do this for a couple of reasons. Um, the first is that we like to celebrate the uniqueness of homeschool um, and that we get to pick when we go back to school and it doesn't have to be on a set schedule or when the school system does it. Um, the second reason is that we like to embrace the freedom of homeschool and enjoy all of the places that maybe we have stayed away from over the summer because it has been packed with schools being out. Um, and the third is that we really like to just kind of let summer end with a big bang and kick off our school year, which will be starting in a few weeks with like knowing that we had the connection and made those memories and just had a lot of fun. So in the years past, we've done things like Universal. Um, we did that the year that we did Wizards and Wands so that we kind of like embraced all of the Harry Potter stuff and then we dove into that in our school year. We've done a National Park road trip. Um, this year we are going to be doing Disney World. I am making sure that we are hitting some of the American highlights at Disney World because we're gonna be doing a big American unit study in the fall. So we'll definitely be doing like the American Adventure at Epcot, uh, the Hall of Presidents at Magic Kingdom and that kind of thing just to kind of get a little bit of fun sneaky learning in. Um, but we are also surprising Emily with a trip to Medieval Times. Her nor Kevin have ever been and I think I was about her age the last time I went and I loved it. So I'm hoping that she is gonna be just as excited as I am when we get there. Um, that is our first stop. So we're gonna head to Medieval Times and then we're gonna spend the rest of the week at Disney. We are on the Skyliner on our way to Epcot today. What are you guys most excited about? Guardians of the Galaxy and getting a donut. Kevin? Fish and chips. As you guys can see, apparently we come to Disney for the food.
for a churro. Oh, that sounds good. Can I have one? <laughs> restaurant ever. It is the 50s primetime cafe. The theming is so cute and the food was delicious. There is no kind of tired like Disney tired. seven Disney themed games at our hotel gift shop that I do not yet own. So I think I need to change that. 